devotees. Assemble! Hi guys! It's not actually Steve Rogers, it is Adam the OT. Back again with some more very fun, simple and effective activities that are perfect for teletherapy or home learning. If you like these videos and want to stay updated, click subscribe. And if you have any questions or areas you'd like me to work on, let me know in the comments below and I will do a video just for you. Okay? Today's one is really, really fun. We're going to learn to be the tile avenger. The only piece of equipment we'll need is a tile. This series is going to be for those families and those therapists looking for some very strong, powerful, gross motor activities, providing a lot of good, positive, proprioceptive, heavy work sensory input, and to work with big, powerful muscle groups. Great for the core, great for the chest and shoulder girdle, and great for balance and stability and body awareness as well. More than any of that, the Avenger theme makes it very motivating for the child. I put the fun above everything else, and that's what this is going to try and be as fun as possible, okay? Hence, why we're going to be the first Avenger. So, without any further ado, Thanos is amassing his hordes. Ultron is taking over. It's time to assemble. So, for this series of exercises, guys, I'm going to stop and talk to you quite a lot. This feels weird doing it as the Avenger, but there you go. Um, but when I do it with the child, I'll do them all blended straight together, like one big series. It's pretty strong hard work for the therapist too, so you might be sweating by the end of it. I'm going to do them slowly so you can focus more on technique, so when you teach it, you can blend it and go pretty smoothly through the whole thing, okay? Now I'm going to do them like a series of about 10 exercises, one after the other, because they fit nicely like this. If you want to break it up and use it as part of your session, and do just the Thor stuff, or just the Hulk stuff, or just the Iron Man stuff, you can by all means. Okay, ready? Let's get started. So the first Avenger we're going to have is Hawkeye. He's the bow and arrow fella. So, oh, this is so hot. Let me take off my mask. Oh, okay. So, so I can see you guys better. Hawkeye, we're going to take our bow and arrow. This is our bow and arrow, okay? Check your bow. We're going to test it out first. You're going to aim your bow around the room. Now you see I'm pulling taut the whole time, testing my string, looking down my arrow, and I can point and see the, any bad guys up there. Bad guys in the corners of the room, they're aiming it around, aim right at the camera, testing both sides, testing the arms. So I'm getting a good strong pull there, easy peasy. So that's just testing the bow. <gasps> now I'm going to take out an arrow. Take your arrow what? Here's the move. Hold the towel, grab the towel near your hand, and very strongly, Pull back, drag in that arm, thup, and that's your arrow. Take another arrow, and I'll say to the child, this is going to be like, oh no, take an ice arrow. Here's an ice arrow, freeze the bad guy. Foom, foom. Take a fire arrow, I'm going to shoot arrows all around the room. Now this is a very big bad guy, this is one of Thanos' big minions. Take a big, powerful arrow, hold it, and then really strongly pull it back. So they're going to hold tighter, pull it back, power shot, boom. So that, they're thinking about the narrative, the story, the game of it, but at the same time, they're getting powerful moves. So the first two for Hawkeye was casting your bow, side to side, aiming around the room. So that's your isometric. Then this one, where they load the arrow and draw the bow back, that's your dynamic move, okay? Hawkeye is set. After Hawkeye, we're going to go into Spider-Man, okay? Spider-Man's got his flexibility. Take your uh, your uh, towel again. Now, importantly, guys, I'm doing this sitting down so you guys can see me better and see I can explain it better. A lot of the time, I'll do these moves in high kneeling or in standing with the child. Okay, but sitting down, for you guys can see a little bit better for me. I want to take my towel for Spider Man, and he's going to have to go up over his head, oh, and then behind his back. Now, your child and you will be better than me at this because doing jujitsu, I'm kind of ah. Oh, Ruin my right shoulder. I'm not tapping to Kamur as if anyone knows Jiu Jitsu. So my shoulder flexibility is pretty poor. Oh, stretching over. Stretchy like Spider Man, okay? If the child's standing up or even in high kneeling, I'm just going to stand up so you guys can see my legs. I'll carry them on after I come down the front. I'll get them to step through and then come up behind their back. They can even go back down to high kneeling. Down in front and then up over again, down behind their back, step over and down in front. And that's our flexibility of spider, okay? So up and down 
and then step through over the top, like skipping the movie, okay? Spider-Man, after Spider-Man, we have Cap. Captain America, my guy, all right? So what is Cap famous for? His shield. We're gonna pull her shield. This is her shield, and we're gonna make it into the shield. We're gonna twist it around to make a big circle. The bad guys are gonna shoot at them, pew, pew, pew. Make your shield, block all the shots. Beautiful, okay? Then after you've defended all the shots, you're gonna wind your shield up and throw it, throw, out, back and catch it again. So we throw the shield out, back and catch. Again, throw, back, catch, and pull it tight. Block, 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 block. Throw, back, and catch it, okay? Excellent, that's Captain. Now we get into the powers of my favorite stuff, okay? My favorite Avenger is Thor. Here comes Thor. Up to kneeling or standing. I'll go kneeling here, guys, just so you can see me better. I'm gonna move it up slightly. I'm gonna open up the tile. I'm gonna kneel on the middle of it. I'm gonna summon my hammer called Monier. Take your tile in both hands near the bottom. I'm gonna draw it up, summon up the power of Monier, holding like a hammer rip like that. Pulling up really tight all through the shoulders and chest and relax back down again deep breath in Gripping at the bottom like you did with the bow and arrow Sliding up through it summing up the power of Asgard summon more near And relax now the whole time I'm doing all of these I will always be playing music So I'll have back in black by ACDC and the immigrant song by Led Zeppelin Hammering away to give them like the motivation they are a superhero a lot of my guys uh, lack the confidence to really push themselves in physical activities. But in these, I'm gonna get them to believe they are Thor. It's not that they're not strong enough, they know Thor is strong enough. So they're gonna be like Thor. Uh, summon them up, beautiful. So I'll do about five or 10, probably about five of these for each child. He's summoned on here, now let's use him. In high knee again, but one arm, pull it up taut. I'm gonna get them to hold that tension and reach out like they're summoning up the lightning. Blast, out in front. Summon up the lightning, blast. Holding the isometric in the front deltoid, side deltoid, bam, or lat deltoid. Open it up, summon, 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 blast. Same with the other side. Summon, 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 crackle, 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 blam. Ah, ah, lovely. So that's Thor. So Thor's powerful. The lat rays holding that isometric. Now getting into the slightly more technical ones, okay? Now this is Iron Man. For Iron Man, it's a bit of a whole body move, okay? We're gonna need blasters on the hands and blasters on the feet. I've just jumped back a little here, guys, so you can see my whole body for the Iron Man part. So for Iron Man, tighten that. We're gonna combine blasting those hands with our leg blasters as well. So tight, push, push, push your arc blasters in your hand. You're gonna fly up in the air like Iron Man, bring your legs through and blast those legs off. Blast off, push. Legs in, blast the hands, legs up, whoop, and blast the legs. Now if that's too tricky for them, they can put their legs down and land when they shoot their hands. If they can, try and float and keep legs up in the air when they're flying. When they land that last one, we have Iron Man and Hulk together. Superheroes like to fight one another in comics quite a lot, so that's what we're gonna do. You land the last one, the tall under the legs, I want you to cross over and Hulk is going to tie up Iron Man nice and tight. He ties him in a chain, okay? So we've got Hulk Buster Iron Man, that big power suit, and the man himself, the Green Machine Hulk. He grabs a chain, pulls him tight. Iron Man's gonna try and bust out, so the legs are Iron Man, upper body's Hulk. Iron Man tries to pull his legs apart. Hulk says, I don't think so. The child is pushing the legs out, at the same time, trying to keep it tied up with the arms. So legs are fighting arms. Iron Man is fighting Hulk. Push, 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 and tighten. Again, five to 10, I usually do about five, if you're, especially if you're doing the whole series. Hold it really tight, 
and Hulk wins. Hulk's got him captured. Now we're going to go full Hulk smash. This is the final exercise. All that power, all that strength we've saved up. Let's see it now. I want to take the top, bring it around the child's back, and under their arms. Gather up a lot of it into the fingertips, okay? This is beautiful because it gives them a nice deep pressure hug at the same time. You're going to cross the hands over, take a deep breath in, and as the exhale, like your Hulk turning into the beast himself, uh, pull it across like Hulk's ripping his shirt off. Tear a Hulk smash! And relax, deep breath in. Grab your towel, that's your shirt, and pull. You'll feel it wrap tightly around your body, that beautiful big deep pressure. One more time, all that strength you've got left. If that's your fifth repetition, pull it really tight, pull, 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 and rip. You get them to, they land on that hero pose, they feel strong as Hulk, they can do anything. And that's it, that's where they finish, okay? Wonderful, they feel like a superhero. Thank you so much guys, that's the Towel Avenger. So like I said, you can do all of those in one big exercise series. You can break it up and just do Iron Man Hulk, or just do Captain America and Thor. If you only have a little bit of time, they work well on their own or in one, one length, but I like them in that order specifically. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. If you do this exercise series with your own kids, let me know. It's my favorite thing to get those messages, so please do send them through, okay? Thank you so much, guys. And for today, as a very tired Adam the OT, I did.